Hey, what is up everyone? So, hopefully you guys are all having a good day. Um, I just got the call that the ST is ready. So the Focus is ready to get picked up. That's what we're gonna do. Um, I don't know, actually where I left off yesterday was that I was in a minivan, um, and now I'm actually in a Nissan Altima. Uh, this, has a, this is kind of like two weeks after the last video, uh, just because everything did get delayed and some other stuff and some other underlying damages, but nothing too bad. It was just mainly some brackets. Uh, they thought they could repair the bumper compared to just getting a new one, and that's exactly what they needed. It was a whole new bumper. Uh, so we're gonna go pick it up. They got done with paint and everything. I believe that was yesterday because they called me super early today. Um, it's barely gonna be uh, 12 o'clock, so let's get to it. So to be fair, I really like the Altima. I, I really enjoyed it uh, for what it is. You know, a nice little commuter car. I have my trash there and whatnot. But this car has been super well with me. Um, it has all the like technology for like forward sensing. Well, not really forward sensing, it's more like collision prevention where it'll beep this it says there's an emergency brake I've, tr I've tried it I don't trust it too much but when it beeps I don't feel like it's braking on its own so I have to put my foot on the brake but it does always alert you like those little that guy and the one over there would blink up and beep when you're trying to turn if someone's a little bit too close or not even too close but you know where it's more safe to kind of just get into the other lane the only thing I think I've just disliked about this whole entire car is um, that CVT transmission. I don't know if I can get used to that, um, but I just never liked it. I, I've never liked the CVT when it first came out. I've heard so much about it and whatnot, but I don't think I liked it or like it at all. Since we're going on the highway, let's put it in sport mode. And then it's really weird just driving an automatic because I feel like it should, I don't know, I feel like shifting at times or putting in a clutch when turning on the stupid car. But yeah, and there, there's a truck there. We'll wait for it to clear up. just the lack of excitement in this car or if it's just a CVT that when it just kind of just goes up and down kind of thing like you don't feel like it has to really like drop in RPMs just to keep going fast I, I don't know what it is about the CVT that just made all that so unexciting like it just feels like it's a chore for it to get up there and it feels super lazy about it I mean of course we're not talking about a very high horsepower number or high torque but still, sometimes some slower cars kind of feel more exciting than this. Like, you know, you can hop in a little Civic, give it an intake or something, and I don't know, it'll just feel a little bit more exciting, more alive. Maybe it's just because of the fact that this is a bigger car. Like I said, I don't know what it is about this car that just feels really unamusing to me. Um, nonetheless, if it's just someone who wants to drive a car, that would be the good thing. I'm just waiting on picking up my car, which should be now. Okay, let's do this for the one time. Oh, it's so quiet. It's all cold. But the damage is on the back. This was new. This was uh, new as well. This is the old one, just repaired, and it's no longer touching on that side. I can smell so much fumes from here. But overall, everything is fixed for it. Whew, and it is kind of warm in here. Let's turn the AC on. I am just glad I'm back in here. I'm glad I have my car back. I'm glad that it is at a half a tank because they for sure did not reset it. I am honestly enjoying this again. I missed it so much. I think it's a nice little car to have. Honestly, 
I'm gonna get in my feels soon when I get that final offer about this car because honestly I love it I honestly love the ST I don't love the fact that you can blow it up even when it's stock or all the other engine issues oh my god there's so much traffic um, but in terms of like what it's meant to be what what you can do with it and just like have fun with it that's the thing I love about this car like it just sucks that I'm gonna have to give it back and just get rid of it because of all the issues it's had like you know this new issue that I had recently may have just been an electrical slash tech issue that he he just couldn't do what the job was supposed to do and do it correctly you know but I mean I still love the car I, I still need it in my life and I still wish I could have it in my life who knows maybe I don't give it away maybe I keep it or maybe I just go get another one or maybe I just just take my chances with an RS I mean I should have done that since the beginning and I didn't and this is what happens you if you had the chance of buying an RS and you get an ST this is what happens you mess up your ST where you just want to get an RS now should have done that maybe I'll find one for cheap who knows I know there's a couple of them in the Bay Area um, maybe they're gone already because that was maybe like about a month ago but I'm sure there should be a couple of them still left that I can look at um, but I do have my eyes set on a specific project not really a project per se it's more as a daily car what it's really meant to be and as well as making it a I guess quote-unquote show car but that gets dailyed um, because that's something that I'm interested in doing more because one the fuel economy and like how bad these prices are going up here in California is one thing but then at the same time is just dealing with um, a sports car and commuting like almost 200 miles every time I have to commute is the only part that would just kill me like I said traffic you guys um, there's everyone is stopping up ahead everyone who's just passing by right now I'm barely going 10 miles an hour gotta let this guy go in put the signal on but yeah just traffic Ugh. and I was gonna show you guys a nice little pool So just enjoying the small drive back home which is literally I live way too close to that body shop um, probably like 15 minutes away honestly I've enjoyed the car I love it I miss it I mean I missed it so much I like trust me I, I, if I could get another manual car I might do it I shouldn't do it but I might and now I'm about to start going crazy with it because that's just who I am speeding and I forgot that there's construction on this one road but yeah I really miss this car to a lot of people this is a slow ass car honestly I don't care about it because it's fun it's fun to drive that's what I was explaining to you guys about when you're in the in that Altima or like an economy car where the fun isn't there. Some cars just don't have that fun factor. It doesn't matter if you can be making 300 horsepower, but if the car feels dull, it'll feel dull. Um, but yeah, I really love this car. I want to keep it. I'm going to go through with the buyback, even though I want to keep it. Because I already told myself that we're going to get rid of it. <sighs> Maybe in four to five years I'll buy another ST but for now I, I don't see myself keeping this one because I just can't handle the stress about it